Health Ministry will publish a list of average bill sizes of private dental services. This will enable you to know how much you can expect to pay when visiting a private dentist. I'll share and see with more. The Health Ministry currently maintains a list of average charges for some of the more common dental procedures at government-owned clinics. The Ministry will extend this practice to private dental clinics. The private sector has been invited to participate in this to promote greater transparency of dental charges across the island and I'm encouraged that many of them who have been approached are receptive of this idea. About three quarters of dental services here are provided by the private sector. But some private dentists told Channel News Asia the published list may not necessarily lower charges across the board. There would be different segments of the market for different uh, clinics, different dentists. So each uh, dentist, each uh, clinic should um, charge what they feel comfortable with. Because um, not all rents are the same, you know what I mean? Not all uh, uh, patients are the same, not all materials are the same. Some say having a list of average bill sizes is helpful, but others would still likely visit their regular dentist, regardless of the published charges. If you're comfortable with the dentist you have and the, the team of people you're working with, that value you cannot you know, put a price on really uh, for me. Cost transparency is there. La. We can see, we can base and we can, you know, uh, but in, uh, in price wise, I think most consumers will go for a cheaper one. At the dentist's pledge affirmation ceremony, nearly 60 dentists took the pledge. Among them, 37 are graduates from the National University of Singapore. The Health Ministry plans to increase the intake of dental students at NUS from 48 currently to about 80 by 2020.